Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Offbeat Underground. This is Josh uh, W. Here to bring you the obvious. As you can see, I have an Aether Revolt bundle in front of me. Um, I got this from Apex Hobby Shop in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Uh, different location, different workers, but, uh, you know, same ownership. And I picked this up, even though it's just $42.99, I picked this up for just over 30 bucks. Which, you know, even though it's Aether Revolt, it's not... The set has somewhat downgraded, but the fact that there's a damn near $10 uncommon in this set is just absolutely nuts. Um, in, the, in the bundle, you can see... Barely. Sorry, my lighting's terrible. Um, you get a player's guide... The box itself, 10 Aether Revolt booster packs, an 80 card basic land pack, spin down life counter, and a reference card. So I will be opening this in this video. However, I have to make a little bit of a rant. This happened today. I just purchased this today. And uh, as I was coming back from Apex Hobby Shop, I had to stop at McDonald's because I heard about these new signature craft sandwiches. They're basically starting to make like the create your own kiosk, except it's only three different sandwiches that you can create your own custom on. And uh, I ordered the sweet maple barbecue burger, whatever that is. So I ordered that, and I was in the drive through. I go up, I go to pay for the the uh, the sandwich. You know, going to pay it was all right. Was all right. Um. However, going up to receive the food, at first I was re I received a bag that was con that contained food that was not mine, food that I did not order. Then I give it back to them, telling them, you know, it's not it's not what I ordered. Uh, you guys have a uh, have this wrong here. So then they they they're uh, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, just give it, give us one sec. And then they give me a bag that says six cookies and two drinks and. I replied back saying, nope, still still not right. Then uh, they gave me the bag. I, it had a large fry, and it had the sandwich in it, but they forgot <laughs> they forgot my drink. Um, so I had to ask to be able to get the drink back, or to be able to get my drink. And then as, as we're pulling away from the McDonald's, I open up, and I get the chicken sriracha, whatever, the other one that has bacon. So not So not only... Did I order that sandwich clearly? And not only did they give me the wrong food items on multiple different occasions, however, they still, at the very end, after I pulled away and I was already too far away from the restaurant to be able to go back and return it, they gave me the wrong food item. Even though on the receipt, on the packaging that the burger was on, or the sandwich was on, it, it showed clearly what I had ordered, but they didn't do it right. So, McDonald's, Alaska, Wisconsin. Get your shit together. Okay, Aether Revolt Fat Pack. Uh, <laughs> I've only ever opened one other Fat Pack in my life before this one, but I never recorded it. Uh, <laughs> fat Packs are quite hard to open. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> That's hurting my thumb. Break through the seal. Oh, whatever. We broke through it right up here at the top. So I'll just do it like this. So, you know, like I was saying, Aether Revolt Fat Pack uh, for just over 30 bucks. On, they were on clearance. They had way too many. Uh, you know, it's a great deal, I think. Uh, we have this little, this little manual here. You know, if you guys want to read it, I mean, if you guys want to know what all cards are in this, just... Well, here's the top 10 coolest. I pulled three of them out of a booster box. I have yet to find that footage. I have opened an Aether Revolt booster box, and I recorded it. But I have no idea where the footage ended up. So, yeah. Don't steal! Okay. Um, I'm going to try and get this poster un undone real quick-like. Oh, yeah. Um, at that same... At that same apex in the cross, they have a Magic 2010 Corset Fat Pack. 
However, it's a hundred bucks. You think it's worth it? Because if so, if I can save up enough and it's still available, I will go and purchase that Magic 2010 core set fat pack and I will open it. But that all depends on if it's even worth it or not. I know for an older fat pack like that, it may or may not be, but you know, whatever. So we have this little, this little box here. And you know, it's cool. And inside, we have 10 Aether Revolt booster packs. The 80 card LAN pack. And I, and I noticed that a few times you were getting two spin downs in these. But like, that was only on very few occasions. But these only have one, but I have yet to get the Aether one. So, I mean, you know, whatever. Got the lands, I've been needing lands. Um, and you know, the 10 Aether Revolt booster packs. I am going to try and find myself a masterpiece because this is the masterpieces invocations expeditions has been the one type of card that has been eluding me from my time of opening magic product so i'm just going to hope that uh you know that we get something good out of this fat pack even that even though we only paid 30 bucks for it still hope for still have high hopes Restoration Specialist is our first uncommon. Cogswork Assembler, Windkin Raiders, and Inspiring Statuary. Not artifact spells you can cast have Improvise. It's actually, it's actually kind of cool. Um, I'm going to try and get my stack maintenance to work. Because anytime that I've ever opened any type of packs ever, uh, you know, my stack, ma my stack maintenance was never that great. Uh, we're also looking for the that $10 Fatal Push Uncommon. We have Deadeye Harpooner, Daredevil Dragster, Thob to Arrest, is, it's alright Uncommon, Free Jam Regent, the 4-4 Dragon. Not that great. But you know what? We ha we still have 8 more packs. We still have 8 more packs. Stop being sour, Josh. We know, we know that we're going to get something good. I mean, Aether Revolt isn't really that bad of a set. I mean, financially, it's not that great. We all know that. Oh, we got a foil. It's an artifact. Okay, we have Gremlin Infestation is our first uncommon. Skyship Plunderer, Tezzeret's Touch, and Aether Geode Miner. 3-1 for 2. And a foil Verdant Automaton. It's actually... It's actually kind of unique. Um... My my run is still trying to get a foil out of uh, an Amon Cat pack has yet to come. I opened or I bought three packs a few weeks ago after the pre-release kit that you saw, and still haven't opened a foil. Which is, I mean, out of nine packs, you'd expect at least one, right? All right, first uncommon is. Come on. Focus. <sighs> Whatever. Scrapper Champion, Trophy Mage, Reckless Racer, and Carry Zev Skyship Raider. Actually, I did. I actually needed one of her, so I'm not really sour about that. Um, they still have a few of these left, so if you're ever in the area and you want to buy a cheap fat pack, you know, thirty bucks, ten packs, especially of Aether Revolt, which is. You know, that uncommon fatal push is always the the card that everyone's wanting now. <laughs> um, Renegade Rallyer, Spire Patrol, Siege Modification, and Yahini's Expertise. This card had a lot of potential. And I still believe it does. I still believe this card has potential. In all honesty. We have one, two, three, four, five packs remaining. So, I've got a little bit of a uh, surprise coming for you guys that I will explain in a later video. We, I think we might have a foil here. Um, Gifted Aetherborn is our first uncommon. Narnum Renegade, Tezzeret's Tush, and Sram's Expertise. Ah, foil. Foil Mountain. I mean, foil lands are pretty cool, I guess. That's another thing that we're missing here is... Uh, a mythic. We have yet to pull a mythic out of this. Oh, and oh, <laughs> I thought that came with the two one legendary monkey token. I 
still have high hopes for Aether Revolt. That might sound w weird to people who don't. Hi, I'm recording an opening for the channel. Oh, sweet. Can I come in? <laughs> yeah, sure. Say hello to Josh, everybody. F first uncommon is Skyship Plunder. Merchant's Dockhand is our rare in this one. Sweet. It's only 30 bucks, too. It was super cheap. Oh, and here comes the rest of the crew. All of the 20 people. The oh, no, three other people. people By the way, Josh. I'm proud of you. <laughs> they didn't have any of the ones over at the other Walmart, so I decided to grab some. Oh. Outland Boar, Scrapper Champion, Enraged Giant, and we have Sram, the creature himself. And Gremlin Infestation Foil. Bye! Yeah, we'll just go off later then. Alright. <laughs> we have two more packs left of Aether Revolt. We have Foundry Hornet, Lifecrafter's Gift, Vengeful Rebel, and Solemn Recruit. Uh oh, this is about to be a dangerous, dangerous thing. Oh, last pack of Aether Revolt. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you should do that. We have some big things coming that you don't want to miss. At least I don't think you should miss. Because it would be worth... Nope, I don't think we have a foil. That's fine, though. Narnum Renegade. Illusionist Stratagem. Felidar Guardian. And Herald of the Anguish, last pack mythic. Uh, it's 5-5 five, five, improvise. With flying at the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card. So this this bad pack wasn't that it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's just not the best one in the world. But I mean you didn't get too great in the foil pulls, but I mean, you know. Still wasn't still wasn't that bad. So, this has been Josh, and I will see you guys next time.